Hey, what's good everyone? Today I'm going to show you how you can get the legendary SMG Liquid Cooling and Tiny Tina. So Liquid Cooling is one of those guns where you don't have a magazine size. It basically starts heating up the more you shoot it and once it gets to max heating it'll overheat and then you just have to wait for it to cool down. So the, the funny thing about this gun is that in order for it to cool down your character actually takes out a little squirt gun and just start squirting it like cooling it down thus liquid cooling you know you get it so the cool thing about this gun is even though it heats up if you get critical hits on enemies it'll cool it down as well so if you have a build where you have a lot of critical hits going into enemies then you could effectively shoot this gun for a really long time without it overheating so let's look at the stats for a bit so the full name is Aphotic Liquid Cooling of Impatience and it does times 2 198 when I got it. Pretty good damage, accuracy is okay, handling is okay. Repair time is around 3 seconds which I think means is the time it takes for it to cool down. Fire rate's pretty good. The red text for this one is works great until it doesn't. I guess that means when it overheats it doesn't work good. It gives you a little boost in critical hit damage. You do take some penalty with gun damage. 42% that's pretty steep you know so you're gonna have to make that up somehow with your build. The fire rate is good 33% so it starts shooting fast. The weapon accuracy you get a small penalty for it but if you're gonna get up close to people it's, it'll still be fine. Two ammo per shot. I think that relates to the whole times two with the damage so you're shooting two Two, two bullets at once and of course because it's a frost gun it slows the enemies down which is you know always great if you have a bunch of enemies chasing you and stuff give me some breathing room you know so the way you obtain this gun is to go to crack mast cove if you head over to the scallywag landing teleport station right next to it you'll see that there's an obelisk that you can do teleport here and then just run up to where the obelisk is and you'll see that it's hidden behind a waterfall. So just run through it and then you'll get into this little cave area where the obelisk is at. So just go, if you've done other obelisk, you know it finds a lot of enemies and you just have to like defeat them all and eventually like the main like obelisk boss comes out and you have to defeat that boss too. Uh, this is no different, it's the same thing. So they come out and the thing about this is you have to kill some of the, some of the other people first before the main boss, which is Lysia Ironwort in this one. So go ahead and kill her and uh, she has a chance of dropping liquid cooling. It took me about maybe 10 tries or so to get this weapon to drop from her. So just keep trying and you'll eventually get it. When I finally got it, I was just super happy because look at it, doesn't it look so cool? It's just glowing in orange. Yeah, so it's, it's really not that hard. It's just a matter of going in and putting in the work and constantly beating this boss. She drops other things too, but this was this was the goal for me, so just keep grinding it out and eventually she'll drop it. Uh, one thing that helps with it is if you collect the, the loot dice throughout the game, it increases your chances of uh, better loot drops. And there is also a shrine in, in the desert area, I forget what it's called the desert area, but there's a shrine where it also increases your loot chance. So check that out too before trying to farm this weapon but yeah that's basically it thanks so much for tuning in hope this was useful to you and hope you can get your liquid cooling legendary soon so good luck out there and keep grinding away